Hi everyone, I'm Arjuna Page today and I'm going to be working in this sketchbook and <clears throat> I'm going to work here and I've covered this. I have another page here that will just distract and I've also taken another page from my Arjuna and I will explain why. this. I'm going to work on this and then I'm going to glue it inside just to make life easier. So, I'm going to show you a uh, the easiest background you can do with Distress Ink or Distress Oxide. really doesn't matter which you have. So, I've got here one paper from my uh, art journal. Just putting it uh, under this uh, page pro protector and I'm going to, uh, well, like stamp the Distress Inks here. You don't have to have a paint protector, any non-porous uh, surface will do. And I'm just going to uh, randomly put the distress inks on my page, like so. And you don't have to, it doesn't have to be in a square formation or uh, anything if you want you can uh, stamp it uh, turn it and you will get a uh, some kind of a uh, circle so it really doesn't matter and you can do stripes like this it's just putting down basically ink on this surface now, if you don't have distress inks, uh, you can use felt pens. It works the same. I've tried it. it uh, the only thing is that it's more work because you will have to take, let's take some like this uh, felt pen, and it will take more time to just cover the surface like this. But the upside is that with felt pens, you will probably have a lot more shades to work with. So uh, that's the thing. Let's see what didn't I use here. Let's put some like this. I'm just playing with the colors. I'm trying uh, not to mix them just so uh, it won't uh, contaminate each uh, ink pad but otherwise I don't care where everything goes so I've got all this on on here what I'm going to do is take a spray bottle and just spray now the more water the more it will mix this is completely up to you what you want to achieve and it's a nice way to create also painty papers to work with and now I'm just going to place my page here now you can just place it and let it soak you can place it and uh, drag it and again the effect will be different uh, each time so I'm just putting it here right now and let letting this soak into the page. Maybe I will drag it a little bit just so it would be interesting. So dragging a little bit and we'll see what happens. Here we go. I'm loving it. If I haven't dragged it, then I would have more of square prints uh, on my page. So moving this aside now, as you can see, I've still got a lot of ink. I can take any uh, printer paper, soak it up and have another painty paper to use for other projects like so. Here we go. Soaking the excess and more and of course you can if you don't like what you have you can again apply more ink and uh, soak it again 
until you are satisfied with what you have. It's a lot similar. It's well, it's based on mono printing only. I'm not using now a jelly plate. So I've got this a uh, page, and now I I'm just going to let this dry, and then I'm going to glue it into my art journal. Now, why did I do it here? Because it's easier to work on this instead of flipping my journal and trying to print it and drag it. So, I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll come back. And I'm back. So, this is dry. It's already glued into the art journal. And I have a really soft background here at the start of the background. And... Uh, I want to add detail without overwhelming, so I'm thinking of stamping on it with the same colors I've used in the back, at least the, the lighter ones. I don't want to stamp right now with the darker ones. And it really doesn't matter wh what uh, stamps you use. I like text, so I'm going to take one uh, of text. I'm not even bothering to see what it's saying i'm just want some on my page let's see i think i'll use the shaded lilac and because i have this kind of movement when i've dragged all the ink then i'm going to stamp with with it now it's going to be very subtle and I'm going to stamp it randomly on my page. Like so enough of the text let's see i want more details i'm taking a stamp i think i'll take this leaf skeleton leaf stamp and let's see switching for iced spruce i think and we'll see how it looks on the page yeah i like it so I'm keeping at it and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to keep with the random stamping and keeping with the movement on the page. So like this and And taking it off the block so I can stamp it here where the fold is yep like so and I think just one more yeah here okay still want a little bit more detail in the background another way to go about it is stenciling so I'm going to take one of my stencils and let's see this one I made this stencil and I'm thinking well let's <laughs> I'm debating what color to use here and how to keep it still soft and not overwhelming everything so what color to use? Mm -mm -mm. Well, I think I will go back to the shaded lilac and we'll see. I'm taking this makeup uh, brush and I'm going to try lightly and we'll see what happens if, if at all. I don't know. You can hardly see it, but I'm going to keep at it. It's better to have some impression than none, and I don't want to ruin the soft feeling of this page. Let's see. Okay, 
now it's better so I'm just need to go over this section a little bit more yeah and again I want some the bigger one no I'm continuing with this one and I'm going to keep at it and do another one probably here and I'll be back okay so I finished stenciling in the background I really like how soft everything is I'm moving to my focal image and I'm going to use another one of my stencils and of course you can use whatever you like it doesn't matter which stencil just work with what you have and have fun with it so I think I'm gonna keep with this a uh, soft uh, approach to the page and I have this pine needle and evergreen bow so I'm gonna start with the darker color for the stem and I'm thinking of going with the darker color at the bottom of each leaf and the lighter color the evergreen bow I'm going to use for the rest of the leaf to make it more uh, interesting and less flat always when stenciling it doesn't matter if it's with this distress ink or if I'm using a acrylic paint I am always using more than one color okay almost done with this darker color and moving on to this color so it's going to take me some time to go over everything here we go like so again keeping it soft and only if I think it's not enough when I'm lifting it then I will add more right now I'm just applying a soft layer and we'll see so I'm going to keep at it and I'll be back okay finished stenciling my branch I'm leaving it as is if now it's really up to you if you like this soft uh, approach if you want something more bold on your page for your focal image you can stencil with acrylic paint I'm leaving it as is I just want to make some like ground or a, <laughs> a to enter my branch to something and not floating on the page so I I'm thinking of using some um, washi tape I've got a washi tape that will cord that coordinates with the colors I've got here and I'm just ripping it off like so and well let's take some light blue with some butterflies it really doesn't matter I'm just playing with it and let's see what do I, else do I have? Where is it? Here it is. Yeah. So, something uh, less wide. Just so I will have variation. And I don't know. I'm going to add some dark blue I don't care I think it will work nicely again playing and I think I, I will add more of it like 
so and just a little bit more I really liked it okay and do I want something else here I don't know well I think I'm going to apply some I want some butterflies yeah I've got some butterflies here I am going to add butterflies to my background and again I don't want it to take away from the branch so I'm going to use a one of the distress inks let's see what, which one so again some stencil I've got and they just need to be in the background nothing more hardly be seen can be seen but that's okay maybe I'll just add a little bit more where did the Sun go I had a lovely sunshine all morning and it seems like it's cloudy now no better so I'm going to add more butterflies yeah and just here and I'm done I think <laughs> sometimes you think you're done and then you lift everything you look at it and you still want to add stuff yeah I just need to go over this butterfly a little bit more yeah this is it and I thought about putting some saying and not sure that I do I really like what's going on here but I do have some washi tape with all kinds of sayings and let's see maybe something will work here <clears throat> where does it start yeah there is let's go on and an adventure i don't know if it speaks to me right now no so decided to uh, leave it alone this is my page now i want to show you the next the page here because it's the same technique only different colors easy does it okay so again this one is made with the distress inks on uh, the page protector only i haven't dragged uh, the page i just put it on top and let it soak and then i had like squares and <clears throat> again i have stenciled only here in white uh, i think it was white gesso picked up another branch another stencil uh, that I made and just here I just went with I had some metallic uh, acrylic uh, pen a marker and that's it so this is the same technique <laughs> only thing is here I've dragged it and I had more water so that's this that's it so I hope you liked it Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.